I interned with Pratt & Whitney. I chose them because they were offering me real-world, fast-paced experience related to my major. So juggling both classes and internship can be a very stressful thing. It varies on an individual to individual basis. It would have been a lot harder, but the, current, the Turner College of Business allowed me to take a lot of online classes, and this really helped in my free time and, able, and allowed me to take the time I had and focus it on the online classes when I chose. So the internship was paid. Most internships are not, and luckily the Pratt & Whitney did offer a compensated co-op position. They do require full-time, so I worked 40 hours a week. It varied because I did have some online or some on campus classes. So when class did interfere with my 40 hours a week, I usually made up the hours on a weekend, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I can go in whenever I wanted. So the finance department in general over there had three main responsibilities: cost allocate, capital allocation, cost analysis, and forecasting. There's really only three or four people on the core finance team. Me being one of them, I mainly focused on the uh, cost analysis part of it, and occasionally dabbled in the forecasting. I didn't touch capital allocation. The biggest challenge was definitely the learning curve associated with learning all where everything was. So it's one thing to calculate, for example, EBIT, but just knowing where to get the 500 files required for it was definitely a, a major challenge and required most of the time. I'm still, you know, a few months into my internship learning where everything's at. There's so many benefits involved with it. One, it was a paid internship and that was awesome. Uh, second, it allowed me to get real world fast paced experience and that really allowed me to open up to a lot of employers and what I have to offer to their companies. Additionally, the networking was a huge part of it. And to really have those people be available to ask questions to my personal life, um, you know, whether or not I should get an MBA after college or not, and to have them be available to offer professional experience. It's never too late to change your major. And if you do find an internship available, even if it's unpaid, it's a huge opportunity to know what you're getting yourself into before you finalize your degree. Because if you realize, if you get an internship and realize you hate your job, you don't want to do that for the next 45 years of your life. In three to five years, in all honesty, I want to be on track to take over the world. I want to take advantage of my company's fast track leadership experience, gain an overall understanding of executive leadership. I want my day-to-day -day life to be offering consultation to you know, high-ranked businesses and corporations, to travel the world, and to just overall just live the dream.